Japanese. So Japanese B&B is basically just a place to come and relax, come and eat some nice Japanese food, go on the hot springs, and wear a kimono around everywhere. So this is what the room looks like right now. Once we go for dinner, this gets taken away, little uh, cots come out and then this becomes the bedroom and it's made up by the staff here at the B&B. Omotenashi, that's the Japanese word for the hospitality they provide in every hotel you're gonna go into, motel, hotel, they're always gonna have a brush. I was gonna have toothbrush, toothpaste, a lot of times even a razor with shaving cream. And they're always gonna have robes for you to put on too, slippers. Omotenashi. Hospitality. That's what Japanese are famous for. So we're in luck, there's no one in the bath. I'll just quickly show you what it looks like. Japanese dinner. So this is not a kimono, this is a yukata. It's sort of a pajama of the kimono. Sashimi. <laughs> Next in this wonderful bowl is some steamed vegetables, sweet potato, shidaki, mushroom, a daikon radish, and some shrimp. <laughs> so this is a lingi mushroom. It's like a long, fat mushroom and it's surrounded by a swordfish with wagyu steak, asparagus, and the fruit of a ginki tree. This is amazing. It's very hard for me to pronounce all that, but I did. <laughs> so, so far, we've had this, 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 and now next is this. I don't know what this is, but that's what's next. So next is a white fish, suwara, which is sort of a, a mackerel, and it's on a thin layer of tofu, which is yuba, in a dashi broth. <laughs> Ah, yes. And now we have a little hot pot. So we have some fish, shiitake mushrooms, some Chinese cabbage, tofu, carrots, and a little mini hot pot. This may look like rice, but it's actually snapper rice. We got snapper incorporated in with the rice. Brilliant. Oh, good, you don't feel full, 
There's no oils involved, it's just fresh <coughs> ingredients. So our sitting quarters have now become our sleeping quarters. Just like that. So, I don't know if you can see, but uh, we're walking downtown, well, this little district, and our yukotas, our kimonos, because apparently you're able to walk like this around here. And we're gonna go see an illumination at one of the temples downtown. It's very liberating. I do feel a bit strange because there's a lot of normal clothed people around. And I don't have any underwear on. So this temple, which is also hot springs inside, is over 500 years old. And it gets illuminated November, December, and a little bit of January, around Christmas time. It's beautiful. Seiji and Madoka. <laughs> not, not only are you allowed to wear pajamas around with no underwear, you're also allowed to have beer to go. <laughs> so, what to do from here?